Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the latest Netflix movie to hit Polar starring Mads Mikkelsen. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over at Twitter at Movie Guy 365. So yeah, I've been actually looking forward to this one for a little while. Um, I like Mads Mikkelsen, of course, you know, we best know him from things like Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and uh, Hannibal, of course. I like the guy. I think he, he's he's a good screen presence, and I, I, I'm very interested to hear, like, kind of a, you know, from the description, a John Wick-style, you know, shooter, and... You know, Netflix has been on somewhat of a roll lately. You know, we've we've gotten distribution for movies like Roma and The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, which are just both amazing. So, but at the same time, you know, I wasn't expecting too much out of this one because they still could be hit or miss, you know, especially ones that they almost financially back at that time. But, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, I'm a fan. I, like, I am a fan of the movie. Now, basically what it comes down to is he's playing a uh, um, going-into-retirement hitman. Sound familiar? <laughs> um, so, but they work for an organization, kind of like, once again, going to the uh, John Wick comparison. Uh, you know, like just like this big thing where they contract, you know, use contract killers and for whatever they use for. But apparently they have this agreement that, this particular sect, if you reach the age of 50, you're retired, you know, they, you get a payout. So what, it's almost like a, like a pension. So whatever you put in, they, your employer will match. I know it's, it's out there, but anyway, so the, the head of this particular organization is like, Hey, why should we pay these guys? Let's just kill them. And then, you know, we don't have to pay them and we get the money back. So, you know, he start, you know, the movie starts out with like them taking care of one of these guys that hits 50 and they use a special squad kind of think, think like a, uh, you know, back in Tarantino during Kill Bill, like the, the, uh, the team that takes out, um, the bride and, and, and all that. It's kind of like that. Uh, now the movie is very stylized. Uh, I'll just say that, um, at first I wasn't quite getting into it. And I'm going to get to one of the, 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 the negatives in a second, but it actually slowly grew on me. And overall, I really did actually enjoy it. It was, it was a lot of fun. It's nothing that's going to honestly change your life, but if you're looking for like a quick, you know, action kind of, uh, John Wick style, I think this is going to, this is going to go right up your alley. Now they do actually have like I think it's kind of a dig at John Wick you'll know it. it's in the first 10 minutes you'll know it when you see it but honestly that because because of my my personal stance um I was kind of it kind of took me out of the movie a little bit but it did grab me and put me back in now they use Mads Mikkelsen because the man does have kind of like an accent and it, he admittedly can be a little difficult to understand they do keep his dialogue pretty much to a minimum at least for the first half of the movie. And the second half, it's a little, it's not, it's not gonna be a drastic bump, but it gets there. So they have to rely on the ancillary characters and a lot of exposition to kind of keep you engaged in the story because if a man doesn't talk too much, you know, that's, you're gonna have to pick up the slack in other ways. Uh, I did really like it, I did. Um, I would say if I had a major complaint, and this isn't a major complaint, personally on the movie, but any, any studio that does this or any director enough of the CGI blood. Look, I know that it kind of can be cost effective. I understand that to a degree, but it's so apparent. And while they do use practical blood in kind of like your still shots, that kind of thing, you know, anytime somebody gets shot 99 of a hundred times there, it's CGI blood. Uh, the other 1% is probably when they're really getting shot with a gun. No, I'm kidding. But the CGI blood, it, it, it took me out. Now, in a day and age when you have things like, you know, 4K and HDR, I, I was running it through my Apple TV 4K, uh, Dolby Vision, Atmos. CGI blood just 
really blatantly stands out bad. And it doesn't look good. It really, I think that was like my major dig on the movie. Now, there is, to counterbalance that, there is an amazing scene at the end of the movie. I will not spoil it, but it was pretty badass. I, I loved it. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of, of that CGI blood I just spoke of. But the scene was good. It was it, it made the movie for me. Now, <laughs> playing alongside, uh, I would say another weaker aspect of the film, Vanessa Hudgens. Not so much her, but the character, I don't think they did a really good job, you know, getting her into, like, where she fits in the world. And... It's like almost to a point where it was like, why is she even in this movie? And once again, I'm not saying it's her. I'm saying the character. Yes, there's kind of a payoff at the end. But I don't feel that it was an earned payoff. It just didn't, it just didn't feel like it, it just felt like it kind of tacked it on there last minute. It's like, oh, let's, let's put a thing here. I did like how the movie ended at the end. Um, I think it definitely sets up something else. But I think, you know, aside from that, there's a lot of good action. There's a lot, you know, it, it is, as I mentioned, very stylized. So just, it, I can see where it would turn some people off. But it's very heavy-handed with that at the beginning. And they kind of leave it alone until the end. And there's a few shots of it. But, you know, overall, I feel it's, it, it was, it's not trying to be John Wick. But it is its own thing and I did I did like it overall so I would give this a seven out of ten it's a fun time um do I I if you have the 4k capability definitely watch it there uh the Dolby Vision looks very good the Atmos is equally as good it's very immersive it's 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 good it's nothing it's nothing you know breathtaking or anything but it keeps your keeps your speakers busy which is the important thing you want to know that they're there uh, you paid all this money for the, the surround sound. It's nice if a, if a movie actually utilizes it. But yeah, uh, overall, like I said, good movie. Please leave in the comments below if you've seen uh, if you've seen the movie. Polar, it's good. You know, seven out of ten. So yeah, uh, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification every day. I put out videos. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy three sixty five. I will see you at the movies.